and today I'm going to share with you how to crochet the leaf hopper cluster, also called the leaf hopper stitch. The leaf hopper stitch is a beautifully textured stitch that's great for crochet blankets, accessories like beanies, and even garments like ponchos and sweaters. To do this tutorial, you can choose any size yarn that you'd like. Make sure that you do use a crochet hook that is appropriate to your yarn size. I'm going to be using a medium four worsted weight yarn for this tutorial and a five millimeter crochet hook. This stitch is worked in multiples of four plus one. You will add an extra two for your foundation chain. To start the foundation chain, you wanna start with a slip knot And for this tutorial, I'm going to chain 12 for my multiple of four, then one, then two. So that's a full 15 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, that's my multiple of four, plus my one, and then plus two for the foundation chain for a total of 15. For round one, we are gonna start by putting a double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. I like to turn my foundation chain over and go into the back post only, which are these little bumps on the underside of the foundation chain. You can go in anywhere that you like. So this is one, two, and three. We're going to put our first double crochet here, so we're going to yarn over, insert our hook under this back post, yarn over, pull through one, leaving three loops on our hook, one, two, and three, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That is the first double crochet that we worked, but in this pattern, this chain three right here does count as a stitch, so this is technically our first double crochet. So at this point we have two. We are gonna go ahead and we are gonna double crochet into each stitch all the way across and we should end with 13 double crochets counting that chain three as a double crochet. Twelve, thirteen, okay. and that is row one. To get to row two, we are going to make a chain three turning chain. One, two, three. This turning chain does count as a double crochet. We are going to turn our work and we are going to double crochet into the first stitch. Because this chain three counts as a double crochet, this is not the stitch you want to go into. You want to go into this stitch right here. Okay, so now we have two double crochets, one here and one here. Okay, so now we've made our first double crochet now this chain three does count as a double crochet, so technically we have two double crochets right here. And this is where we're gonna start our first leaf hopper cluster. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna be working, when we make our leaf hopper clusters, we're gonna work around the post on this double crochet row. We want to start by working around the double crochet that is directly below this double crochet that we just worked on row two. So what we are gonna do is we are gonna yarn over and we're gonna work around this post going from front to so back. Go, and we're going to just kind of twist our hook, work under this post, we're going from front to back. We're going to yarn over, pull through around that post, 
and then we're going to pull up. We're going to make this a long extension here. Uh, people say that you can, should go up as high as you would for a treble crochet. I say go up as high as you can. Um, that's comfortable for you. You're going to yarn over again and you're going to do that one more time. So you're going to twist your hook around behind this post here. So you're going from front to back. You're going to yarn over again and pull up a very, very tall loop. Okay. And you should have one, two, three, four, five loops on your hook. I'm going to yarn over and pull through the first four, leaving two loops on your hook. Now you're going to skip the next double crochet here and you're going to work around this double crochet just as you did this, with this one, working from front to back. So we are going to yarn over, you're going to insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, pull that stitch up to make it that long extended stitch, yarn over. And I find it sometimes a lot easier if I pinch the stitch that I'm working around, twist my hook to insert from front to back. This is my yarn over right here. Pull through, pull up for that extension. We now have one, two, three, four, five, six stitches on our hook. We want to yarn over and pull through the first four. Okay, this leaves three loops on our hook. One, two, and three. We are going to yarn over and pull through all three. Okay, and we have just completed our first leap hopper cluster or leaf hopper stitch. To close this stitch off, what we're gonna do is we are going to double crochet into this double crochet right here. It is located actually behind this sort of left to right part of the leaf hopper cluster. So you kind of have to twist your, your project over and it is this stitch behind here that is this double crochet right here. We're gonna make a double crochet right there into that stitch. Okay, and now we are going to double crochet into the next two stitches. Okay, so now what we have is we have three double crochet stitches right here, one, two, and three. And we want to work around this post that is directly below the third double crochet that you just made. So you're going to be skipping this one and working around this post right here. We're going to yarn over. We're going to go in from front to back, working around this post, yarn over, pull through and pull up to extend that stitch, yarn over, insert from front to back, yarn over, pull up, extend that stitch. We have five loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through the first four. Okay, and we've just made this first part of our leap hopper stitch that goes from right to left. We're going to skip the next stitch, the next double crochet, which is right here. And we're gonna work around this double crochet or this post right here. We're going to yarn over, insert our hook from front to back, yarn over, pull through, extend that stitch, yarn over, insert from front to back, yarn over, pull up, extend that stitch. And we now have five loops, or we now have six loops on our hook. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to yarn over and pull through the first four loops, leaving three on our hook. Now we're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops, creating our second leaf hopper stitch. Okay, now we want to make our three double crochets with our first double crochet going into the actual stitch of this double crochet right here. It is located directly behind the left to right part of this leaf hopper stitch. So we are going to yarn over, pull our work down like this so we can see this stitch and make our first double crochet right here. And then we are gonna make a double crochet into the next two stitches. Okay, 
So now we have our three double crochets. One, two, and three. Now what we want to do is we want to work our last double crochet around this post that is attached to your third double crochet. So you're skipping this one and working around this one. We are going to yarn over, insert from front to back, yarn over, pull up, make that long extension, yarn over, insert your hook from front to back around that post, yarn over, pull up, make that extension, yarn over, pull through the first four loops. Okay, we're going to yarn over, we are going to skip this next post right here, and we're going to work around this post here from front to back, yarn over, pull through, and pull up to make that extension, yarn over, insert from front to back, yarn over, pull through, pull up to make that extension, yarn over, pull through the first four loops, leaving three, yarn over, pull through all three. And there we have our third leaf hopper stitch. And we're gonna finish it off with a double crochet into the top of this double crochet right here, which is located right behind this left to right part of the leaf hopper stitch. Okay. All right, and then we're also going to finish it off with a double crochet into the top chain of this chain three turning chain. Yarn over. And that would be this stitch right here. Pull through two and pull through two. Okay. So we have just completed our second row, which is also our first row of leaf hopper stitches. Every section of leaf hopper stitch involves two rows, a row of double crochets and a row of leaf hopper stitches worked on top of that row of double crochets. Okay, so this is actually row one, double crochets, row two, leaf hopper stitches. Now we are gonna work rows three and four. We are gonna start by chaining three, one, two, three. This is our turning chain and it also counts as our first double crochet. So we are going to turn our work and we are going to double crochet starting right here because this chain three counts as a stitch we do not go into this stitch right here we start our double crochets right here okay and we're going to double crochet in each stitch all the way across Okay, and to finish row, row three, we wanna make sure that we go into the top of the chain three turning chain. Okay. And there is our third round, which is, and there is our third row, which is a double crochet row. Okay. To start row four, we're going to chain three. One, two, three. This does count as a double crochet, okay? So we're gonna start our next double crochet into this stitch here, skipping this one because this chain three counts as a stitch. So now we have two double crochets and we're gonna actually make two more double crochets. So we're starting this leaf hopper stitch row off with four double crochets. Okay, that's one, two, three, and four. Okay, and the reason that we're doing this is for these two rows here, for this leaf hopper stitch row here, we want to place our leaf hopper stitch between these two here. So making these four gets us into position to put a leaf hopper stitch right in between here. And we're gonna do the same thing here. It's gonna be between these two leaf hopper stitches. And I want you to note that each leaf hopper stitch 
is separated by one single crochet on the original double crochet row. And it's also separated by three double crochets, one, two, and three, one, two, and three, on the actual leap hopper stitch row itself. Okay, so let's start our next leap hopper stitch. We are going to yarn over we are going to be working around this post here that is attached to the fourth double crochet of the row that we're working on here. We're going to skip this double crochet and we're going to work around this post here. So remember we're going from front to back. We're going to yarn over again and we're going to pull up and make that long extended stitch. We're going to yarn over again and repeat yarn over and pull up make that long extended stitch yarn over pull through the first four stitches leaving two on our hook we're going to yarn over skip this post here and work around this post from front to back yarn over pull up make that extended stitch yarn over work around the post pull up making that extended stitch yarn over pull through the first four loops, leaving three, yarn over, pull through the three. And as you can see, this leap hopper stitch is now between these two on this previous leap hopper stitch row. Just like we've been doing, we're gonna go ahead and make our three double crochets, with the first one being in the top of the stitch of this double crochet right here, which is located right here behind this part of the leap hopper stitch. All right, so this is our first double crochet. And this is our second one here. And here's our third double crochet. Okay. So now this places us right here in the center of these two leaf hopper stitches here. So we're gonna work this next leaf hopper stitch around this post here which is connected to your last double crochet that you just worked. We're going to skip this stitch and we're going to work around this post right here. So we're going to yarn over. We're going to go around this post from front to back, yarn over, pull up that extended stitch, yarn over, work around the post from front to back. Now remember I said I like to kind of pinch that to kind of help sometimes. Make that extended stitch, yarn over, pull through the first four. Okay, now we're going to skip this post here and work around this post. So we're going to yarn over, go in from front to back around that post, yarn over, pull up that extended stitch, yarn over, go in from front to back, yarn over, pull up that extended stitch. Okay, you're going to yarn over, pull through four, yarn over, pull through three. Okay, and we're gonna finish it up with the three double crochets. So we're gonna yarn over. Remember, it goes into the top of this double crochet, which is on the underside here. So this is one, this is two, And this is three. And since we are ending this row, we're gonna go ahead and place a double crochet in the top of our chain three. So we will have matching on this side, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But in between the two leaf hopper stitches will be the one, two, three. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that into the top of this chain three here to finish row four, okay? So those are rows three and four of the leap hopper stitch. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to rows five and six. So rows five and six are a repeat of rows one and two. If you're going to continue in your pattern, it would continue this way. You would continue repeating rows one and two, and then you would repeat rows three and four. Then you would repeat rows one and two, and then repeat rows three and four, and you would continue for as long as you need to do in your pattern. I'm gonna go ahead and work rows four and five so that you can see how this pattern will look in the end where we will then have another leaf hopper here, a leaf hopper here, and a leaf hopper here, just like we do here so that we are going in between 
and on the sides of these two leaf hopper stitches here. Okay, so to do this, we are going to chain three, one, two, and three, which does count as our first double crochet. We are going to make our first double crochet into this stitch right here because this one takes the space here. Okay. So we technically have two double crochets right here. And we're gonna continue making double crochets into each stitch all the way down to the end of this row. Okay, and do remember to go into the top of the chain three for your final stitch because that chain three does count as a stitch. Okay, so this is row five, which is a row of double crochets. We're gonna go ahead and move on to row six, which will be a leaf hopper row. We're gonna start by chaining three, one, two, three, which again does count as a double crochet. So we're gonna turn our work we're going to skip this stitch here and we're going to go into this stitch here. Okay. So technically we have two double crochets. Now by only working two double crochets here, remember this is a repeat of rows one and two. We are going to start our first leaf hopper stitch here. Then we're going to skip here and finish it here. That puts our leaf hopper stitch right here above this one and to the side of this one. So you're going to have the three, the two, the three. Okay, so we're gonna yarn over. We're going to work around this post from front to back. Yarn over, pull up that extended stitch. Yarn over, work under that stitch again around the post. Pull up that extended stitch, yarn over, and pull through the first four loops. Okay, we're gonna yarn over. We're gonna skip this stitch here and work around this post here. Pull up that extension, yarn over, pull up that extension, yarn over, pull through four, yarn over, and pull through three. Okay, and there's our leaf hopper stitch above this one and to the side of this one here. We're going to finish it off with the three double crochets. Remember, the first one goes into this double crochet directly behind right here. and then the next two stitches. Okay, now we're gonna work our next leaf hopper stitch around this post, the one that's connected to our third double crochet. We're gonna skip this post here and we're gonna work this left to right wing of that leaf hopper stitch here. Okay, and that puts us right here directly between these two leaf hopper stitches and above this one here. We're gonna yarn over and work from front to back. Oops. We're gonna yarn over and work to front to back around this post here. Pull up that extension, yarn over, work from front to back around the post, pull up that extension, yarn over, pull through four, skip the next stitch, yarn over, work from front to back around this post, Yarn over, pull up that extension. Yarn over, go through here. Yarn over, pull up that extension here. Yarn over, pull through the first four. Yarn over, pull through the three to pull that leaf hopper stitch together. Now go ahead and work the three double crochets with the first one being in the top of this double crochet back here. That's one, two, and this is three. We're going to work our last leaf hopper stitch starting around this post here that is attached to the double last double crochet you just worked. We're gonna skip this one here 
and we're going to work the left part of this leaf hopper stitch around this post here and that will put this leaf hopper stitch to the side here and above this one here. So let's yarn over, work around this post, yarn over and pull up that extension, yarn over, work around this post again, pull up that extension, yarn over, pull through four, you're going to yarn over, skip this post, work around this post here, yarn over, pull up that extension, yarn over, pull up that extension, yarn over, pull through four. Okay, let's finish off our leaf hopper stitch by a yarn over, pull through the last three stitches on the hook. We're going to complete this with two double crochets. So we're going to put one at the top of this double crochet here, which is behind this part of the leaf hopper stitch, and into the top of the chain three. Okay. There's one. And I think our third chain got squished here. All right. And we've just completed rows five and six. It is a repeat of rows one and two. And to continue in the pattern, as I said, you would then repeat rows three and four. So you would have two leaf hopper stitches here. And then if you continue in this pattern, it would always be three leaf hopper stitches, two leaf hopper stitches, three leaf hopper stitches. Okay. And this is how you crochet the leaf hopper cluster or the leaf hopper stitch. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel so you can be sure to catch all my fantastic stitch and pattern tutorials in the future.